What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Mason's got a birthday coming up and this is big number five. About to be five years old, mid-February. So we are taking a little road trip. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment down below what kind of videos you want to see next. Hopefully it's going to start warming up here soon and we're going to be able to do some track riding. Every single weekend we get a chance to ride. It rains on Friday, floods the tracks out, they close. Not really able to do it a lot during the week. Yeah, hopefully we'll have some riding here for you soon. Yeah, they got jet skis galore here too. All right guys, we just got up here to Brewer Cycles. If uh, stepping into a power sports dealership kind of takes you back or takes you to some special place, drop a big like on this video. 10 am Riker, dude. I, these things are kind of sick. I don't know if I would ever own one. Drop a comment down below if you actually like these things. I personally don't know if I would ever want to own one or not. I bet they'd be pretty fun to cruise around on for a day or so though. All right, we're masked up. We're good to go, dude. All right. All right, what do you want to look at first? Huh? Yeah, check out this little mini side by side right here. This thing's huge. You think, you think so? This one definitely fits you a lot better than the other one. Pretty sick, dude. What does this thing run? I don't even know, dude. When dealerships stop taking the prices directly off of things, you know they're expensive. I definitely ride this thing. Ooh. Check out this bad boy. All right, guys. So if you'll notice, and I had a lot of comments on this the other day, this is why I don't prefer the Raptor 700 over the YFC 450. It sits a lot taller. It's a lot more narrow. And you can really see it if you kind of come to the back over here. So if you got both of these, the Raptor 700, you got the YFZ 450. YFZ 450 is super, super wide, pretty low to the ground. This thing tracks incredibly well, and I've ridden both of them, so I'm kind of, I am going off of experience. A lot more narrow, it's just a lot higher. That's just kind of my preference on why I like the YFZ 450 better. Thanks, sick, huh? You think if I got one, you could probably ride it? Maybe. I mean, you can touch on both sides, man. Yeah. I know as good as you can ride, you could definitely ride it. Maybe we'll have to, we'll have to experiment. It's got so much power though. It, so much power. That is, I want to ride moto, man. This thing is freaking sick. Some mom could ride too, so maybe we wouldn't have to build a dog house so big if, if mom could actually ride it too. But he said they don't have any in stock. They would have to order them and it's really hard to get them right now. So we'll try to find us a KTM 50 somewhere. So yeah, if I was gonna get a, a sport ATV, it would definitely be the YFC 450. I don't even think I would consider the, the Raptor 700 to be honest with you. This thing, this thing. Holy cow, dude, this thing is enormous. Look how big this thing is. Come stand beside it. <laughs> Things way bigger than here. Let me tie your shoe real quick. Hey, you even know how to get in? Yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely know how to drive. You think you could? I can even touch the pedals. Oh yeah, but you gotta be able to. You gotta be able to sit back and put the seatbelt on. That's wild, dude, man. This thing is freaking enormous. Let's go check out some more side by side. I got the old one two five over here. Check us out, Maze. Yeah, I could do a 125, but I don't know. Is that Kickstarter on this side? Sure does, man. That's a beefy tire, huh? Look how much tread that thing's got on there. Maybe we can get, maybe we can grab some new tires for your dirt bike while we're here. Now I think about it. Cause those stock tires you got on your TTR, trash. We'll see if they got any. Let's check this can am out. Boom, sign, front and center, finance and available. Of course it is, because these things are like 30 freaking grand. Just to put in context, how expensive these things are. I paid like 33 grand for my truck last year before last. And this is the exact, just look how freaking big this is, man. It's crazy. Dude, I just can't get over how big these things are. They're so much bigger in person. Then they look in video like this one looks sick though. Dude, this shock right here is literally like two and a half feet long. It's 
crazy, dude. Crazy. All right, bro. Let's go look at some dirt bikes. How about Renegade, dude? What you think about this one? It's got some meat on those tires, huh? All right, got some P-dubs. Can you put P-dubs in here? Which has P-stars? Yes, they do. They're on this side, though. Yeah, it is. See if you roll it forward, it'll come off the kickstand. Okay, scoot up a little bit in the seat. Yeah, you probably rail a PW right now. Because they probably got the, the throttle limiter on right now, so it won't go that fast. Like, this is what we'll get for Max. This will be Max's first bike. We'll get him all. This is Stasic. Pretty sick, Monster Edition 450. It's pretty gnarly. No KTM 50s, dude. That's kind of a bummer. I really, really want to size you up. Don't have any in stock, dude. What's up, man? This is one right here, man. Go 252 stroke. What you think, dude? Uh, you're not excited. Can dad get a bike? Which one should I get? If if you had to pick one that dad goes home with, would it be the 252 stroke? Or they don't have a 250F, but they got a 450. You like that one? Well, this one even, it's even got a headlight on it. Check it out, that's pretty gnarly. Could do some night riding. All right, so check this out. So if I was to get one, how about a green one? What do you think about a Cowie? How about this one right here? You like it? It's pretty big, huh? Yeah, dude. What you think? See, it would kind of match your hat a little bit. You got dark green, but it's all good. You don't like the green ones? I like the green. You? All right. So you do like you do like the Cowie, or you don't like the Cowie? This would be a good size for Sissy, huh? You should get that one for Sissy. You think she would ride it? More than she rides her 110? You got to scoot up in the seat. Okay. So I think once you started going, you could probably ride it just fine. A little too small. I think this is about the same size as your bike right now. Look, this one's got a pull start. It doesn't even have a kickstart. It's got a pull start. It's like a freaking weed eater. Can I get this one? No, dude. You don't want that thing. Your TTR is better than this one. I do kind of want to see how you size it up there. So that one's a little big. This is the same one that you just saw. Yeah, so that one? So I was like, this is a SSR, and I don't know what model it is. Maybe like a 50 or 70 or something. Yeah, and you'll uh, pull star instead of the kickstart. That's pretty crazy. I've never seen that on a dirt bike before. Huh? That one's going to be just a little, little bit too big. I don't know, that's probably about the size of like a 65, I guess. Stop, stop. Yeah, you still got a little time for that. Dude, we gotta find you a 50 somewhere. I don't know. They just get so much business, man. They rarely have the inventory we're looking for. It's a good thing for them, but kind of stinks for us. Inventory is low in general right now, so kind of stinks, but I don't get on it. Because I don't want to buy a moped. Check these things out over here, these fat tire bikes. Oh, he's got pull starts too. So that one's got a really big pull star. I think I'm right this. Oh no. I don't know. I don't okay. think your legs will be able to reach down to the bottom. Oh, we can't sit on jet skis, buddy. Can't get up there. Why? Because you're not allowed to. They, you see, they have to sit up on these stands right here and you don't want to mess them up. If we were to get a jet ski, which one would you pick over here? Because, you know, we're, we're loyal to Yamaha. We just, it's just what we like, man. It's, 
Yamaha's where it's at. If they made a 50, we'd buy one of those too. Pretty sick. That thing is huge, actually. Can you imagine driving it? You think you could drive that thing? I think I could drive this one. Yeah, this is one that you stand up on. Yeah, buddy. You need this side by side one day. Dude, I don't know. You, dude, this is the second time you went back to this. This thing, I swear, it's huge, dude. Come stand right here at the back. I bet you're not even as tall as the fender is on this thing. Yeah, but I, jump, I can't jump off of this. Oh, all right. So, heading back from the dealership. Unfortunately, we're not able to size them up, and that's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, we've already got a dirt bike. We've got a four-wheeler. we got a lot to be thankful for, so... Hopefully in one of these next episodes, we will find what we're looking for and be able to come home with it. You know, with coronavirus going on, it's just, power sports is hard, man. This is like the best year that power sports have had on record. It's pretty crazy uh, just how low inventory is. It's, it's the craziest thing that I've ever seen. I've always been able to walk into any dealership and find exactly what I'm looking for, you know, within at least a couple dealerships away from the house. But nobody's got anything, dude. It's pretty crazy. Matter of fact, they didn't even have a set of tires in stock for the TTR50, which is really what we need. So I guess uh, we're going to have to order those online. But hopefully we can find what we're looking for here soon. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and we will catch you in the next one.